Hello and welcome to my podcast. I'm Izuma. In today's episode, we're going to be exploring the different parenting styles and how to find the approach that fits your family. So you all know that parenting is an ever evolving adventure where things change and we change as well as we grow older. So yeah, today we're going to be exploring the different styles and understanding the different parenting styles can help you make informed decisions and it can also help you navigate your parenting journey. So go ahead and grab a cuppa, take a deep breath and let's dive right into the world of parenting styles together. As parents, we all have a parenting style and there are four types of parenting styles. There's the authoritative, the authoritarian, permissive and uninvolved parenting style. Each parenting style has its strengths and its weaknesses and the most effective approach often depends on the needs or personalities of the children and also the parents. Finding the right balance between warmth and discipline is key to helping you foster a healthy relationship or a healthy bond between the parents and the child. Let's talk about the authoritative parenting style. And this parenting style creates a nurturing environment for the child. It makes the child feel appreciated, feel loved, supported, confident, and even independent. It encourages open communication, effective conflict management, and problem solving skills, hence leading to a stronger parent-child relationship. However, the weaknesses of the authoritative parenting style is that it requires consistency, it requires patience, um, it can be seen as too strict sometimes, and it may lead to conflict between the parent and the child if the parent is perceived as not being flexible to the child's needs. The second type of parenting style is the authoritarian parenting style, and this style believes in rules and regulations like they're strict on you know obedience it encourages respect to elders or respect to authority and um, this style seeks for high achievement in the children so uh, things like academic achievement um, this particular parenting style seeks for high academic achievement in the children and it also provides structure and stability the weaknesses of the authoritarian parenting style is that it may create fear, resentment, or even rebellion in the children. The children may lack self-confidence and they may also lack critical thinking skills um, because the parents usually does the thinking for them. So they may lack in this area and it may cause a strain in the parent-child relationship, which can result in, you know, communication barriers and just a distant relationship between the child and the parents. So this type of style is more common in Asian and, you know, African cultures, whereby they value obedience, they value respect to authority, respect to elders, you know, that kind of thing. Um, cultures that value high academic achievements, you know, success in your grades, success in your competitions, you know, those type of cultures display more of the authoritarian um, parenting style. The third style is the permissive parenting and the permissive parenting is just exactly as the name goes, permissive. So it creates a a supportive environment for the child it's a it's a warm style of parenting whereby the parent permits a lot of things you know um, the parent also allows the child discover themselves and be themselves without any fear or judgment it fosters a sense of autonomy and independence to the child thereby making them you know explore and learn from their mistakes so the weakness of this parenting style is that it can create a lack of discipline. Um, it can foster insecurity for the child. Um, the child may feel entitled. The child may become selfish. Um, they would always want their needs met no matter what. It may also result in a lack of structure, a lack of boundaries, and also a lack of consistency. And also 
the parent might struggle in instilling discipline and responsibility in the children, which then leads to challenges in their friendships, in their adulthood, and you know their relationship with people. So the fourth one is the uninvolved parenting, and this style of parenting is exactly what the name <laughs> describes. It's uninvolved. This is when the parent is uninvolved in the child's growth and development. The parent is unavailable. The parent provides maximum freedom and independence to the child. This style of parenting encourages children to be self-reliant and independent in their decision making and their choices. And it may also foster creativity and resourcefulness in the children when they learn to um, navigate the world on their own without the help of their parents. The weaknesses or the limitations of this parenting style is that it fosters a feeling of abandonment for the child, whereby the child feels lonely, abandoned, um, where they feel like they are not being looked after or cared for, or even loved as well. It can also lead to a feeling of neglect, it can lead to behavioral issues or academic struggles. The child may also have emotional challenges due to the lack of guidance and supervision from the parents. This may also result in long-term mental and emotional issues for the child if it is left unchecked. Parenting styles are not inherited, so it's not something that you inherit from your parents. It's not in your DNA, so it's not something that you were born with. However, it is something that you are influenced into. So there are various ways that you could be influenced in your parenting style. Um, for example, you can be influenced from your parents' parenting style. So if your parents had an authoritarian parenting style, whereby they want to be respected, they want to be you know, honored, they want you to have high grades in school, then you may also you know want your children to go through that path of having an authoritarian parent so if you are you know someone who your parents encouraged you a lot you know they loved you they cared for you they supported your goals and your ambitions they cheered you up when you're down you may have an authoritative parenting style and um this might also be something that you find to be effective. You might want your children to have an effective authoritative parenting style. So in cases where you had a parent who was more permissive, lenient, allowed you to be yourself, allowed you to do your thing, then you would exhibit permissive parenting style. Or if you felt abandoned, if you felt um, like your parent was uninvolved or your parent wasn't there to care for you, to see you through, to guide you and protect you, then the probability that you might have an uninvolved parenting style, you know, might be there as well. However, as much as you might have experienced a certain parenting style, you also have the opportunity to decide for yourself which one you want to do or which one you want to be known for um, you can also decide which, which one was effective and which one was ineffective things like culture and society norms also influence your parenting style so as i said before cultures like asian and african cultures that value respect for elders respect for authority these sort of things can also affect your parenting style um, things like religion um, your values, your beliefs, they also affect your parenting style. For instance, if you're a Christian, um, you might have, you know, values such as love, forgiveness. Those sort of values might also influence your parenting style. So also, things like social networks can also influence your parenting style. So things like, you know, observing other parents on social networks and what they do can inspire and influence your parenting styles. Things like seeking advice and support from your friends, your family, or even social network can influence your parenting style as well. So your child's temperament and their needs can influence your parenting style. So let's talk about the different types of temperaments that children have and the parenting style to match that temperament. So if your child is confident, strong-willed, independent, outspoken, you know, or even shy and timid, 
the authoritative parenting style will suit such a child be because it provides clear boundaries and expectations for the child, fosters self-discipline and confidence. For the shy child, it encourages them to be more confident. For an easygoing and cooperative child, the permissive parenting style matches that temperament because it allows the child to be creative. It allows the child to be themselves without fear of judgment or without any strict guidance or strict rules. It also fosters a, a sense of acceptance for the child. I've not included the uninvolved parenting style because it doesn't match any of the temperament of a child because it's a neglectful style of parenting. There are also laws and jurisdictions to safeguard children from neglectful parents. The law and jurisdiction also um, ensures that the children are looked after, um, their needs are met and they're cared for. It's essential for parents to understand their responsibilities towards the care and welfare of their children. And if parents need any support in raising their children, they can always seek for professional help. This kind of professional help can come in the form of, you know, counseling, selling parenting classes, coaching, um, also social services as well can help support parents who need assistance in raising their children. I had a few questions come in my email and coincidentally, two people asked me questions regarding parenting. So I'm going to read out the questions and try my best to answer it. So someone asked, I'm struggling to find the right balance between being strict and being nurturing with my children. How do I know which parenting style is best for my family? To answer this question, I would say you need to find out the temperament of your child because everyone has different types of temperaments. You might be one of those who has all their children having the same temperament. For instance, if all of your children are confident, strong-willed, independent, then you would know that, okay, I have to go with the authoritative parenting style because this parenting style provides support, it's, it provides encouragement, it creates a nurturing environment for the child. And if you have a you know, a timid, shy, insecure child. You can also try out the authoritative parenting style as well because it still provides the same things because it also encourages the child. It sets clear boundaries and clear expectations for the child. So you can, you know, go through the authoritative parenting style. If you have an easygoing child, you know, then you know that, okay, the permissive parenting style will be more lenient towards, you know, the child's temperament. So you could explore that. And you can also still explore the authoritative parenting style because I've noticed something about parenting. In parenting, there's always trial and error. Like you have to try different things to see which one works. So you can have the authoritative and, per and permissive parenting style for you know, a child who is easygoing. And when I say authoritative, I mean in the sense of support and encouragement and also, you know, trying to set boundaries because sometimes it's not everything you have to permit. There are times where you have to sit back and set some boundaries and your, your child has to, you know, you have to communicate those boundaries with your, with your child. So, um, that is where the authoritative part comes in. And same for the strong willed child as well. Sometimes you might permit some things in order to foster, you know, that self confidence, you know, in order to foster that um, belief in themselves for the child to not feel judged, you know. So, what I'm trying to say in essence is. All of these parenting styles have strengths and weaknesses. So sometimes you have to key into the strengths of the different styles in order to see which one, you know, works for your child's temperament. Um, I wouldn't advise anyone to go with the uninvolved parenting style because I believe children are blessings. Also, children are there to also teach us just as we are teaching them, they're also teaching us to discover who we are. 
you know they're also teaching us to be better so yeah um they need that care and support and you know that welfare because no nobody in this world likes to be abandoned it's the same for children no child wants to be abandoned no child wants to be neglected so i would not advise the uninvolved parenting style to anyone second question is i, I grew up with strict parents who enforced rules with harsh punishments but i don't want to repeat the same approach with my children how can i break the cycle and adopt a different parenting style so what i can understand from this is you having strict parents you may have had an authoritarian parenting um in the sense that your your parents wanted you to you know comply with their rules um they set clear rules and regulations and you can break the cycle of authoritarian parenting you can always break the cycle it all stems from you being self-aware and also being aware of the kind of parent you want to be. So you can find the strengths of the authoritarian parenting style and avoid the weaknesses. You can always seek support. You can read books, read um, parenting books, parenting resources. I am, I'm also creating my own parenting resources to help support you all in your parenting journey. But you know, you can always look into parenting resources, parenting workshops, parenting classes for support and guidance, and even things like therapy as well. You might want to go through therapy, you know, because there there's some things that you may have gone through from having strict parents that has traumatized you or or it may have scarred you but you know with therapy you can speak to a therapist and then they can help support and guide you and with parenting styles comes the topic of discipline whereby you want to know what discipline strategies to apply because you know different cultures different society norms have different styles of discipline discipline is not about sparing the rod spoiling the child approach no that is far from what discipline is discipline is just about letting your child understand that there are consequences to their actions and some consequences are costly yeah there are some very expensive consequences so yeah so there are different types of discipline strategies but things like natural consequences so things like you advising your child on a certain thing and if they do not listen you just allow it play like for example yeah natural consequences such as it's raining outside you tell your child to put on their raincoats because it's raining outside and they're being you know they, they disregard your advice maybe they're being rebellious and they do not want to put on their coat so they rather just go out in a sweater you know so you might not want to fuss about it you might, you might just want that to be a learning opportunity for the child so what you can do in that kind of situation is allow the natural consequence play out so by the time the child goes out and sees that they're drenched in rain and their, their clothes is all wet and they're uncomfortable, then they will learn that, okay, next time I'm going to listen to my mom or dad when my mom or dad says I should put on a coat because that is the right thing to do to avoid being drenched and uncomfortable in the rain. So things like that can help instill discipline in the child so in conclusion we've been able to explore the different parenting styles and we've been able to see the strengths and the weaknesses of these parenting styles um, it's been an interesting conversation today thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey to discovering parenting styles and seeing which approach fits us um, as individuals and as parents I would encourage you to keep exploring keep discovering what you love about parenting um, you can also explore what you love about different types of parenting styles the strengths the weaknesses and just see which one works for you you also have to evolve and adapt as the child grows and you might 
see that your parenting style adapts as well so yeah I would encourage you to explore the different types of parenting styles and to see how best it fits into your family. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode. I wish you guys all the best in your parenting journey. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my podcast and also on my YouTube channel and all of my social media platforms at What Mummy Loves. So I wish you guys all the best in your parenting journey. Thank you again so much for joining me on this podcast and happy parenting. But I went over